We're working the latest now on a state lawmaker's claims of being sexually harassed at the state house. Now the state's attorney general tells Eyewitness News he's taking action as we hear from the lawmaker herself. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner is live at the state house now with the latest developments. Jared. Steve and Caroline, good evening. Well, the many sexual harassment and assault allegations against Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein prompting other disclosures nationwide by women and men, among them the representative. Now, what Rhode Island's attorney general wants to do. To do. The Rhode Island's top state lawyer live in studio on Eyewitness News this morning, Wednesday, speaking out about lawmaker Teresa Tanzi's explosive revelation this week. First and foremost, Rep Tanzi, in my mind, is a victim. Tanzi, a South County Democrat claiming a high-ranking legislator told her sexual favors would allow her bills to go further, she's declined to identify who that is. Now, Attorney General Peter Kilmartin tells Eyewitness News he is asking the state police to look into whether a crime was committed. I reached out to the colonel yesterday. She and I are on the same page. We have senior staff getting together uh, to begin the process of how to uh, conduct that inquiry. Also this week, veteran representative Edith Agello saying she's heard stories of sexual harassment from female lawmakers, staffers, and lobbyists over the years. One account as recent as June. Agello telling the Providence Journal, quote, it's about a culture. Tansy says harassment did not just appear when she reached the halls of power. I have been in the workforce for three decades and that it has started with my very first job and continued um, to this day. The state police tonight putting out a statement on Kilmartin's announcement to Eyewitness News writing the two agencies are working together to review the allegations. As is the policy of both the state police and the attorney general's office, the two agencies are not going to be making further comment with respect to the status of or direction of the inquiry. And House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello now wants Teresa Tanzi to chair a commission on workplace harassment and assault. He also wants to have a staff training at the beginning of the next legislative session. Coming up new at 6 o'clock, one local leader telling us that is not nearly enough. At the State House tonight, Jared Planner, Eyewitness News. Tonight, the head of Rhode Island's Republican Party says the investigation into alleged sexual harassment at the State House needs to go even further. We first reported this morning that the Attorney General plans to look into the allegations by State Representative Teresa Tanzi. She shared her story in the wake of the Harvey Weinstein scandal and the Me Too movement. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Planner joins us live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom now with the details that are new at 6. Jared. Caroline, well, House Speaker Nicholas Mattiella wants Teresa Tanzi to chair a commission to look at workplace harassment. He also wants workplace training to come in and talk to staffers and members at the start of next session. Rhode Island GOP's chair says a commission is where bills go to die. She's prepared to do. Rhode Is Island that... Attorney General Peter Kilmartin telling Eyewitness News he wants the state police to investigate Representative Teresa Tanzi's claim that a high ranking lawmaker told her sexual favors would advance her bills. There's a very high tolerance for bad behavior up at the State House. State Republican Party Chair and litigator Brandon Bell says he's concerned the allegation goes beyond harassment. She didn't say someone made an off cuff comment to me about sex. She said, I was told that sexual favors will move my legislation forward. And that made me ask the question, is there a sex racket going on uh, on Smith Hill? The AG noting his office and the state police would look at whether any criminal offense was committed. This is not the first time sexual harassment allegations have hit the state house. In the early 2000s, ex-legislative researcher Wendy Collins made them against House Speaker John Harwood. Collins had said she got a workers' comp settlement to drop claims Harwood had pressured her into sexual acts. He adamantly denied it. A grand jury declined to indict over the settlement, but Harwood's time as speaker would end there. Now, longtime Representative Edith Agello says she has heard stories of sexual harassment from staffers, from female legislators, from lobbyists over the years. Agello telling the Projo this week, quote, it's about a culture. At the State House tonight, I'm Jared Pleiner, Eyewitness News.